Well, it means a lot to all of us, it's something we've been working for for quite a while. I think this is my 10th or 11th year at the school. Uh, it's my seventh year running the baseball program. And, um, you know, we've been steadily improving, but uh, we were starting to end up with a, a large stack of uh, district runner ups. And three of those came to Billings. So it was uh, it was good to beat a quality team for that championship. Yeah. What was the mindset coming into this one? Like you said, three-time district champs. Um, you were probably expecting the tough matchup that we saw today. Well, we knew that um, we, we knew it was a different Billings team than it had been in the past. Uh, we'd seen them a little bit, um, and of course, they made the best with with what they had um, and quality team still. Um, but you know, we had our pitching lined out, so I, I knew I had a great pitcher to put on the mound to start it. Um, the, uh, it's a little iffy there at the end, who's gonna come in after, but it worked out. It worked out, so a senior really stepped up, Morgan, and uh, came through on that. But uh, no, the mindset was just come in and, and put the ball in play and see if good things happen. What was your uh, motivation or messages to this team, especially when you guys were down at one point? Um, and then when you guys made it back up, how did you kind of keep them level? They've done that all year. Um, I'm not a I'm not a great motivator. I'd probably never be a good football coach, um, and that's one thing I, I preach all the time. You know, level-headed. Don't let your highs get too highs, and don't let your lows get too low. 
Um, and so that's something they've exercised over uh, over the years for some of them, uh, working with me and even just over this season, we, we've had some other comebacks and uh, we've had some other games that uh, were first time wins for us beating that program. So yeah, that was, that was normal for them to just keep their head down and keep working. Uh, three seniors on this team, what kind of impact have they made on this program and hopefully will be leaving as well? Huge impacts. Uh, Zach came through just like we expected him to from the time I saw him in middle school and was his coach there. You know, what you thought, what you saw in him, that came out. So uh, huge impact, our best hitter, our best pitcher, um, and, and just a great, great teammate. And uh, Morgan Zinn, uh, the guy that finished it off for us and played a phenomenal first base all year long, uh, a kid that I wondered if he was ever even going to see varsity time. And to end up the year, our second best hitter and just phenomenal at first. I can't tell you how many times he just stretched into the splits to make outs. Even last night, uh, he had to do that. So um, just, he, he means the world to us and to watch him improve so much. And then uh, Chronicle, Locott, uh, he came in last year never having played baseball in his life. He was the kid that got the last two outs there in right field. Um, so he wasn't even familiar with baseball, but he was like, hey, I'll try my best, you know. So to watch him learn so quick and, and be a you know, integral part of the team. It was, it was a good thing to watch. We knew that um, we needed to be aggressive and stay confident and not get down on ourselves or each other. Um, anytime that happens, everything seems to go downhill. But as long as we uh, just be a team and fight together and build each other up instead of break each other down, it works a lot better. So. And you came in as relief. That's a big duty. That's a pretty stressful one as well. I want to know, going up on the hill, what did you know you needed to get done? Um, well, obviously I needed to just, I need to hold them. Um, Zach, the guy that just got interviewed, he did a great job holding them. And they're a great team. They're a great hitting team. So he did really good holding them. And I just knew I needed to go up there and pitch and not let them score. And thank God I did. I, I, I don't really pitch that much. So getting put in and just told to be confident. Um, so yeah, just hold them and we scored, we got a good rally, and then we came back and we won. So I held them again, and it's awesome. It feels so good. What is it like to go up against this Billings team who has won the district title the last three years? You knew that you had some tough competition ahead. Mm -hmm. It's very, um, it, it would be a lie to say it's anything other, other than intimidating because they're a great team, great, solid hitting team, great pitching team. They, they hit nukes. I mean, I'm just, I'm just being honest. Like, they're a great team really good team and um, we knew I told the guys we had we've been on a really good run playing um, I just tell them just stay confident just you know you can hit you know you can do it you know you can feel just don't get in your head stay confident be good to each other and we'll get it so as one of the only three seniors on this team what legacy are you guys hoping to leave on this program and especially the youngsters on the squad yeah um, right off the bat I just I want to make sure that um, everybody knows that this is a, that we can do this. I, at the very beginning of the year in our little preview, I put that districts would be an attainable goal with hard work and determination. And what, what are we doing right now? It, was, it's, it means so much. And I hope, I hope that these guys know, because don't get me wrong, three seniors might not be a big deal, but I know we are three big guys in the, on the team. But I just wanted to know that if you guys just keep working, this could be, this doesn't have to be a one-time thing. You can be back to back to back if not, you know. Can you talk me through that last moment where the ball comes flying out to center field and he catches it? Can you kind of relive it for me a little bit? Um, well, yeah, so the first one I got, the first I got a strike out and my heart's racing. Got a fly out, my heart's racing, and then I'm just, I throw, I throw a 12-6 curveball. It's like the only pitch I can really throw that's accurate. I throw that thing and I see it go up and I just start, I'm praying hardcore. I'm like, God, please let him catch it. Please let him catch it. And as soon as I see him catch it, I'm just all praise, man. I'm like, oh, thank God. I knew he could do it, but just to see it happen, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Just, yeah, praise God. I'm so, I'm so, we're very blessed. Yeah.